My friends, right here I've got a one pound, three ounce porterhouse steak and I think I've got a way to cook it that is really good. If you wanna see how I do it, stay tuned. Step one, take a handful of hickory wood chips and soak them in water for at least 30 minutes. Now here's a debatable subject, cook on gas to the left or charcoal to the right. My choice if I had the time, it's right here, go with the charcoal. You're gonna get the best results. Okay, for the charcoal, do not use lighter fluid on it. Use a couple sheets of crumpled up newspaper in this chimney starter. You light the bottom and let it go for a good 30 minutes or so. And then you dump the charcoal into the grill. The next step, let the steak sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes and then put it on the grill. Okay, the very first thing that I do after taking the steak out of the packaging is I put a super thin coat of this olive oil on both sides of the steak and then I go ahead and season it. So the McCormick Grillmates Montreal Steak Seasoning, I think, is the best. I've tried all kinds of different ones, and some are pretty close, but I just really like this, and I cover both sides of the steak with it. Now keep in mind, it's a good idea to take some precautionary measures to keep yourself from overheating as you're working near that hot charcoal grill. All right, the charcoal's been burning for about 30 minutes. I'm dumping it on the bottom and just spreading it out nice and even. And remember the hickory wood chips? Now you drain them, and I just scatter about half of the glass here. Uh, I make sure they fall down and are on the charcoal itself and let them burn for about four minutes. And then you put your steak on. I like to cook my steak for about three and a half minutes on one side, and then I cover it. Okay, so the second side is cooked for about three and a half minutes. So it's been about seven minutes total that the steak's been on the grill. And now when you take it off, just let it set for five minutes without even touching it. And now after five minutes, I'm cutting into it. I like it medium to medium rare. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a comment or a thumbs up. Thanks for watching my friends. Have a great day. All right, if you're looking to pair up a nice glass of wine with this medium rare steak, I recommend uh, Cabernet Sauvignon.